Hey guys, God's Education here and welcome back to the Unreal Engine 4 beginner tutorial series. And in today's episode, we're going to be taking a quick look at how you can create skeletal mesh animations inside of Matinee. So what this is basically going to allow us to do is find a skeletal mesh, uh, something like this character model with all the bones set up and all that good stuff and pretty much create animation sequences in here. So if you take a quick look at my matinee, you're gonna see exactly what we're gonna be doing today. You can see I've got a whole bunch of different animations in here, and I'm basically applying them to the character along with some movement tracks. So if I go ahead and press play, you can see my character idles for a moment, and then he begins to walk, jump, and into the distance. And that's all set up and timed correctly with a few keyframes for movement as well. So without further ado, let's just go ahead and get started. Also, one thing I do want to note is um, skeletal meshes aren't just characters. There's whole bunches of other stuff you might want to work with with bones in it. Uh, that might be weapons, that might be complex animated geometry. Um, I don't know, it's completely up to you, but for now, in today's episode, we're just going to be using uh, the starter content, and that's going to be the character, and then all the animations that have been provided with that. So, let's just go ahead and get started. So, first things first, you're going to want to find your skeletal mesh inside of your content browser. For me, I'm going to be using the third-person blueprint stuff, and I'm going to go to mesh, and I'm going to find my sk underscore mannequin. And what I'm going to do with that is, I'm just going to drag it in. It's that simple. Now we've got a skeletal mesh in the scene, we can go ahead and create our matinee sequence. So just go ahead and go to matinee up here and press add matinee. Once you've done that, let's just go ahead and make an empty group. Uh, sorry, my bad, not an empty group, a skeletal group. So just right click here, skeletal group. And we're just going to call this basic animation for now. It's just very simple. And sorry. Yep, once we've, ah, uh, my bad. So whenever you're actually creating your animation tracks and all of that good stuff for skeletal meshes, make sure that you actually select your object in the content browser first. That way it knows how to do it properly. It adds in the animation tracks and all of that good stuff. So with it selected this time, go ahead and press add new skeletal group. And we're just gonna call this basic animation. And you're going to see now we have two tracks, one for movement and one for animation. So the movement track is basically going to be like some of the stuff we did in the previous episodes. Um, this is just going to move the geometry from one point to another based on the timing from the keyframes. And then the animation track, that's basically going to allow us to actually put these animations into matinee and apply them to the object in the scene. So. Without further ado, let's go ahead and find some of the animations. Now, Unreal, actually, sorry, Epic Games actually provide you with a whole bunch of animations for this character as part of the starter content, and we're going to go ahead and utilize that. So, just go over to third person blueprint, animations, or use whatever animation you're doing. Just go ahead and select idle, that's what I'm working with now. This is the first animation. I'm going to select that, and then where it says anim, make sure you've selected the track here. Press enter, and then just choose your animation. Now, you should be able to see it on your little timeline here, and it's going to be pretty much outlined by this blue box. This is the length of the animation. Now, if you wanted to, you could make this longer or shorter, or you could just loop it, do whatever you want to. If you don't want the idle animation to be too long, just select the, the little black arrow here and just make it shorter. As you can see here, I'm reducing the time by whatever it says here. So for me, for now, I'm just going to set this to two seconds. Simple as that. And now, if I go ahead and press play, it should play the idle animation for two seconds. And you can see the character's hit moving, it's got a little bit of life, and if I wanted to, I could always drag it back to the original uh, time here. Simple as that. So let's go ahead and add in an another animation now. So now, what I want the character to do is uh, walk a little bit. So find the animation you want to use, just double click it, make sure it's all cool, it's nice and looped, uh, we've got this lovely walking animation. Once you're happy with it, just go ahead and once again, press enter with the animation bit selected, and add a new key as soon as it's going to let me. Sorry, there we go, and we're just going to use walk. 
and then you can see we got the timeline for this in blue again. So let's just go ahead and press play. You can see it's now walking on the spot. Now that's where the movement track comes in because we actually want to give the character some movement. We want it to move forwards as the character actually walks. So let's just go ahead and look at that again. You can see it idles in the same place, that's cool. And then it walks in the same place, but that's not quite so cool. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a keyframe over here on the animation track, on the movement track. And then we're going to create another one at the end of the walk. So by the time the walk animation ends, we want to move it to somewhere else. So what we're going to do is we're going to move it over here. And during that time, during the walk animation, it should move over there. So let's just go ahead and reset that by pressing stop and then press play and let's have a look at how this actually works out for us. You can see it walks a little bit too fast so what we're gonna have to do here now is just pretty much use the walk animation again make it longer and we're gonna extend the keyframe over here. Now let's have a look at it. Press play and then you can see it walking slowly at a more realistic place. Just work around with the timings, but this is pretty much the basics for setting up animations inside of Matinee. It's so easy, uh, just play around with it. Um, keep in mind you're not going to be limited to characters like I said or just the start of content play around with all the animations you've got loads of good stuff in here like you've got jumping animations run just chuck them in do whatever you want uh, but yeah that's everything for this episode thanks for watching comment like and subscribe and I will see you in the next episode goodbye